Good afternoon. Welcome to Cruz Daku. Thank you very much for joining. This is Bahal is Awesome, a channel dedicated to exploring all the awesome places here in Bahal. So today we're here in Cruz Daku. It's located in the mountains up above Lobok. Uh, it's a really awesome walk. We're going to be starting from the plaza, which is right down in the town center and walking all the way up. Before we get to that, I do have a travel guide at the end of this video. It'll explain how to get here, uh, all the specifics. But for now, enjoy the hike.
All right, welcome. Thanks for watching. That was the hike up to Cruz Daku in Lobok. Now, Cruz Daku actually means big cross, which is very fitting considering that it, the cross itself is 80 feet tall. Uh, it is overlooking a Lobok. When you get up there, it's an amazing view. Uh, actually, a lot of little amazing views on your way up. You can see through the break in the, in the trees every once in a while. It's actually really neat to see because a lot of the time you're not sure how high you've been walking or climbing and then all of a sudden you get that view and you realize how far you've actually gone. So that was really cool. So the significance for Cruz Daku is that uh, every year during the Easter time, during Holy Week, uh, the local Catholic community makes a yearly pilgrimage where they walk up to this cross um, along the way, praying at different places and obviously again uh, at the top. Uh, I wanted to walk it, but you can definitely drive up there yourself. As you can see, I was basically walking on road the whole way. There are some other different paths and routes to go, which uh, I wanted to do the the straightforward one, the one that everybody else does. Uh, but you can definitely see here uh, through some of the trail maps that I have that you could take different routes or explore different places. You can also go to another major statue, which is the Virgin Mary, which is on the neighboring mountain. You could actually make that into a loop and walk all the way around up to the cross. And then it's sort of downhill most of the way uh, through to the Virgin Mary and then all the way back down through to Lobok. So how to get there. Uh, if you're coming from Panglao, Dawis, or Tagbilaran, it, it's very straightforward. You're gonna be driving uh, through Lo Ai. You're gonna follow the coast uh, to get to Lobok. There is an alternative route if you go through Tagbilaran city. You can go through Karelia and Sikatuna, which is also a really nice drive. If you are going through Lo Ai, don't worry, the new bridge is uh, open and available. Uh, at the moment, this is May 2022, uh, it's single lane traffic only. That should change in the next uh, month or so. They're gonna be building out the roads going up to and after the bridge. But once you pass through Loai, you're gonna head to Lobok and then you can just park somewhere near the plaza. Uh, as you can see here, I parked across the street from the church. Uh, there, there is some shaded area, there is some places to park there for free. Around the plaza, you're gonna find a lot of different shops uh, this is the main town center for Lobok, so you'll be able to buy any water or snacks or food. There are some restaurants there as well. There used to be a 7-Eleven, but I checked it out. It's still not open since the typhoon and the flooding that we had back in December of 2021. Uh, but there's still a lot of other uh, little snacks and food and water that you can get, which you're definitely going to need for your trip. The route that I took was the, the main direct route, basically just straight up and straight back down. Uh, as I mentioned before, you could do uh, different loops or different routes to get up there. So the route that I took was just under eight kilometers there and back uh, with an elevation of just over 300 meters. Uh, it was a little bit challenging. Um, I'm not a seasoned hiker. Luckily it is on a road, uh, but I would suggest going more in the morning or late evening to avoid the, the direct heat of the midday. I went during the middle of the day and it was really hard to find shade sometimes when I needed to take a break. Uh, but just keep that in mind. I think uh, most people when they do like to go up there is they start really early at, at uh, sunrise uh, and I'm sure it makes for an amazing view once you get to the top. All right, so what do you bring? I would definitely recommend good footwear, especially if you're going to be going off the trails or off the main road onto the trails. Uh, there are mountain biking trails that you might see as you're going by. They do lead up to uh, the cross. However, uh, they tend to be very, very steep, and if it had rained at all, they're going to be really muddy. So just keep that in mind. But bring good footwear. You'll also want some sun protection, whether that be a hat, uh, sunblock, or both. Um, like I said, I went during midday and I was really happy that I had my hat. Otherwise, I would have totally been fried. Apart from that, I would suggest just bring a lot of water and some snacks. There isn't much along the way once you leave town. Uh, fortunately, there is one little house that does sell some water and a little bit of snacks once you get to the top on that turnoff going to the cross. So luckily, I was able to get a little bit more water on my way down, uh, but it's there if you need it, which is a lifesaver sometimes. All right, that's gonna be it for this travel guide. I hope you enjoyed the video as a whole. Um, it was a really, really fun walk. I really enjoyed it. And I, 
something that everybody can do. It's a free activity that you can try once you're in Lobok. Uh, and while you're there, you can try some of the other restaurants. There's also some resorts there. Uh, you can go to Fox and the Firefly. They have amazing food. You could stay overnight, do stand up paddle boarding. There's also the Lobok River Cruise, which you can take your, your lunch on the, the cruise boat that goes up the river. Uh, you can see some cultural dances and that sort of stuff. Uh, it's a great place to stop too. If you're just on your way going to uh, the Chocolate Hills, or you're going to see the Tarjirs, you could make the drive, make it a quick drive up to the cross, get that view uh, and, and check it out. All right, thanks very much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day. If you are interested in checking out the Chocolate Hills and the Tarjirs and doing a DIY trip just on your own, check out this video right here and I hope you have an awesome day. See you next time, bye.